Welcome. Today we're playing a deck that is not made by me, but by other fellow content creator Liberty1844. And this deck is called Dragon Ember Maiden. And I've been subscribed to Liberty for a pretty long time. I don't really get to talk to him very often because our streaming schedules are, are pretty different, but I think he's a fantastic content creator. Make sure to check him out. Um, the point of this deck also, I love that he included one A rand. It's pretty important. But his deck is putting the Draconic Bands, which is a four mana 3 3 weapon from Targon, on the Ember Maiden. And then whenever Ember Maiden kills anything with the deal one damage effect that she has here, she gets a Fury proc because of the weapon. And I had no idea that that interaction worked that way. Liberty figured it out, and I was like. I gotta try this deck for myself. When I see a sweet deck creation, I can't help myself. I gotta play it, and I figure I share it with the world, people that watch my channel, and just give a give a little plug for uh, for Liberty himself. Definitely check out his channel for probably like even more very interesting decks like this. Super super cool. All right, so we have the Ember Maiden. But we don't have something like Scar Grounds yet, so I guess we'll just play Every the Soraka. A new journey. I uh, I like setting up the Brom too with Draconic Bands. Okay, there's there's that. Is the Star Spring? I'm gonna play two Lure of the Depths, which is pretty scary though. Okay, we'll just we'll just play the Brom here. Is on the job. Let's see. These Isles will be blessed. Yeah, that's pretty scary, actually. I, uh, I don't I don't love that. That's the Maokai on the field that we will not be able to kill. So, let's see. Next turn, it's probably going to be setting up the Star Spring. Oh, right, that costs zero. Oh, that's, that's insanely powerful for opponent. A zero mana Sea Scarab to uh, proc the Maokai. Okay. Hmm... Yeah, they're, they're going to be deep very fast now. All right, let's see. Yeah, we have to set up the Star Spring here. There's no way. Okay, well, we'll, we'll play this. We'll do that. And we'll set up the Ember Maiden. Oh, are they deep? If they have double Jettison, that is kind of a crazy hand. Please don't tell me you're deep. Please don't have second Jettison. Okay, I will. <laughs> that would have been one hell of a hand. Okay, right. Let the flames take you. We kind of need to draw another champion. <laughs> one is deep. Does this even matter anymore? It's not like we're going to be able to kill anything, right? Have you met my shield? I think we... What if we set up this so we can at least kill the Maokai? That will probably have to be the play. If we had a Scar Ground, our, our attack stat would be so big that we might be able to fight this board, but we're going to have to be a little bit creative now. That's what we got this for. Nice. Uh, okay, so the bad thing is, I don't know how the Star Spring works, but I am praying that the Star Spring heals this first and then the effect happens. That, that would be spectacular. Okay, thank God. This is red because that's round end and Ember Maiden is round start. That's really good to know. I actually did not know about that, but that's uh, that's very important. And we got the Scar Grounds, okay. Well, it's gonna be just about holding out and praying that we get this. Okay, do this. <laughs> There's the Aram. Okay. Yeah, no, we're, we're living. We, we got the big health stats. We could get somewhere. That kind of sucks, though. Burn them all. That would have been a good card to have around. Um, okay. The Elk of Bones 
summons me. Okay, we can kill that next turn. Hmm, the Ember Maiden being dead is is not good for us. That will make things a little difficult. Okay, we're at nine. That is a card right there. Yeah, that might just do it, actually. That might do it. Okay. Great Braum. We don't get to heal anything. All right. <laughs> we'll say bye to this board, but they're going to come back and it's going to be painful. Double Vengeance Hand. Pretty rough. Scargrounds would have been great earlier, but the problem is now that we'll be shooting ourselves in the foot because we will heal less from the Star Spring, and this might just be the only way to actually win. And there is the Nautilus. Okay, let's do that. We can hush the fish. Here. Sure. Deal one. Not too bad, you know? I'll take any damage I can get. Couldn't even set up the A room. Well, uh, <laughs> that that is a thing. Um, what if we do this? We still have mana. Yeah, sure. Fresh is worth least twice as much. <laughs> Here we go again. The the best card from Praljord, I guess. Okay. Yep. Nine. Yeah, next attack turn is not gonna quite kill us, but the one after that is gonna be really bad. Yeah, let's stop like an Ember Maiden. Hmm. Okay. So, do, how much? This is minus two attack. This was from Jaw Hunters, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Blood and guts, golden glory. So th th this is already setting up lethal for them because they can pull the Soraka, right? This pulls the Soraka, and then we're dead. I think that's GG. Yeah, that's uh, that's already lethal. This this pulls the Soraka, and we won't have a fearsome blocker for this. It'll be nine damage. Ah, yeah, GG. Flee now. GG. I'm, I'm not gonna emote yet because maybe they don't see it, but they probably will. We'll see who feasts tonight. I... I've got these. Daughter, I was once small like you. Go and harvest them. Okay. Now it's not lethal. What? Yeah, opponent didn't realize I had lethal. <laughs> Alright. Um... Not that it matters, because next attack and we're dead anyway, but yeah. I guess they... I guess if we had, like, a pill cascade? We're probably a little bit scared of the star spring, too. Makes sense. Take heart. We need 10. How can we get 10? Yeah, so what this does is lets us heal for six. Be at peace. Have you met my we can do that. Brom goes to one, Brom regens for six, and then we still need four more. If we attack with anything else, it just dies to Nautilus. I 
I guess the opponent was probably scared of that last round too. That's maybe why they didn't attack, because they didn't want Soraka to get low. Because if they didn't have a way... Oh. Okay. Sure. <laughs> GG. Oh, the Brahmi mode. Okay. <laughs> GG anyway, buddy. Such hatred in their hearts. Siver and Ash, all right. We're gonna keep the Ember Maiden. Because, oh, and we got the Draconic Bands, all right. I, I, I want that Ember Maiden pop off. I want it really badly. Double Draconic Bands, not sure about that. I'm a little bit disappointed, by the way, that when you proc Fury, the stats don't go to the weapon, but they only go to the unit. It'd be pretty sweet if like, you're proccing Fury on a unit, and then when it dies, you get the weapon back with all the Fury procs, so maybe it's like a plus four, plus four, plus five, plus five. Might be a little bit strong, though. Fire knows its own. Yeah, just dropping this on the board is uh, probably not the smartest, but... Winter take you. Are you running Shatter or something? You're not, but then this dies. Okay, cool. I'll I'll take it. I know what I'm worth. Are they gonna run exhaust or something? Danger pays. Okay. <laughs> Star Spring is quite good. But this is better. The storm approaches! That's a 6-6 six, six with overwhelm for 5 mana. That's pretty good. So two procs here, and Sivir is dead. That's great. Oh, are they gonna run like grappling hook or something? I mean, it dies to the Ember Maid now, so we might as well... Wait, do we proc? <laughs> do we proc Fury from killing our own unit? I think we do, right? Make it worth my while. Alright, we'll kill the server. Sure. I don't think we're gonna get much better use out of Hush. <laughs> I I feel like that's worth it. That was a little bit weird, but that's that's gotta be worth it, right? Gotta be. It's quite a kind of great that this is round end. Oh, you're a six attack man. That's pretty strong. Oh uh, yeah, I'll take six. That's uh, that that's that's actually very strong. I was not expecting that. This this card can definitely uh, pop off. Tough. So pretty good. We're also hitting ourselves in the face. So I think I'll be pretty. Ooh. Nah, I'm gonna set up this. Everyone here, let's go. Let's try to do some healing. Is this this is round start? This is round end. Breathing. Yeah, getting some healing. That's pretty good. Sure. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Flee now or burn. This is, uh, this is an interesting game. I, uh, I'm not sure if I'm playing this deck 100% correctly. It's pretty fun, but it feels, it feels so passive, you know? Pity is for the weak. <laughs> sure. Uh, we probably should set up the, the Draconic Bands on... On Braum? Quick attack. <laughs> so this gets frozen. Stand back. Okay, apparently it killed itself. Already? Oh, I guess it's because this also deals one to it. 
It's best for now. Well, are you level? She's level. Avarosa, guide me. Wait, Sivir has spill shield. Oh no. Uh. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit risky, but I'm going for it. Opponent is always going to open with the arrow. This will proc, deal one here, proc spell shield when opponent arrows, that's when we bury the nice. It's gotta be play. It's gotta be. Blade, sand, and treasure. Didn't ask for more. But if they have Absolver and they just open attack now. The ice. Deadly paths, just another day in Targon. I don't believe. I, I don't believe they're not gonna arrow. They only got one freeze right now. Okay, spell shield gone. It's not. It goes through spell shield. Oh. Right. Uh, that makes sense. Actually, that is how that works. Uh, yeah. That that is how that works. Okay. This is the power of an iceborn. I uh, I knew that. I knew that. You want to arrow? So spell shield blocks skills and spells specifically, huh? Oh no! Oh no! They had another ash. This is your war mother. Pathetic. Yeah. Okay, GG. The the second ash kind of does it. Because we had a way to protect one, right? Oh. We had a way to actually get one blocker. That's... I mean, this didn't matter, I guess, right? The second Ash did it. Ah, did you? I feel like I gotta win a game with this deck because uh, I'm, I'm not making anyone proud here. Akshan and Yi. Surely that's a deck that we can beat. I know it. We got this. We got the bands. I am the Simon Wind. Whoosh. Okay. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. Easy auction block. I wonder if they attack here with Akshan. Hey, I would, yeah. Here. I think I would too. This is destiny. The wind howls. So we'll play Soraka and we'll just heal this back up. We shall weave our own destiny. So is my mic placement slightly off? I don't think it is. Stars live with purpose. Nah, it looks fine. Hey. That's uh that's that's the curve, Akshan into the swinging glaive is uh, is gonna be a little bit painful for us. And it gets fearsome. I mean, we have the Draconic Bands, so we can set them up on Soraka, maybe. Oh, wait. What if we just play Braum? What if we play Braum and then the Draconic this Bands on Braum? Justice. That's your work. The spirit gives to those who listen. Oh, that's active, right? Yeah. Mm, all right. Let's see. We have enough mana for Draconic Band and Starspring next turn, so that could be pretty big. This Prox, so we can actually kill it. Talk is worthless. We are what we do. Is the auction just like a seven-five now? I'm slightly worried. A little bit. Slightly. That was a very good start for opponent. Let us see if you are worthy. Okay, I guess we'll kill that. Actually, can we? I think we have to pull the auction. Right? Yoink! Be at peace. Show me your best. 
I mean, that's that's a little bit scary, right? If they have a single buff, then Rom dies. They block the Soraka now. What if we just don't attack with these at all? Yeah, I would have liked to uh, do that differently. There's there's the answer they had for us. Rough game, rough game. I don't do meditation. You are a fledgling child. Feeling is off. It is easy. See? The possibilities are infinite. And start healing and drawing. A quiet spirit. Another star spring. Villains beware. It is time. Really? Stand behind Rome. If I had to guess, Absolver? Go no further. Absolver here, maybe? Absolver full on here? They only have two cards, so this should be fine. Yeah, we're, we're gonna kill this. You must die. Oh, wait, that could get us there for the Star Spring. Brahm's gonna heal for nine. We're gonna go to 13. Wait, we're almost there now, right? Wait. Does he not die now because he gets one health? Oh, but Brom leveled. <laughs> Brom, because Brom level two, we actually did get it. All right, great. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, look at all these spells. Okay. Uh huh. Plus three, plus three from Fury. It's a big brawl, man. How much health do we have in total? I literally... Uh, plus 9? 13, I guess? Hey, 12. Stars fall. We should be friends. If this goes through, we can win the game. Right away. 15. 18. I think it's worth it with this. Because if, if Brom lives here, we win the game. They didn't have it last turn. They, they didn't have a way to protect the Yi. And... Yeah, we win. Right? Unless they can kill the... Oh, they could have a Homecoming. A Homecoming does it. If, if it's not a Homecoming, we win. Okay, let's see. Is this round end? At the end of each round? And this is also round end. I think this happens first. I think the star spring, it goes left to right. So the star spring is going to heal. It's not going to be enough. Right? I think it's not going to work. I think we have to do this. Because they're both round end, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work. They had it. Why did they let it go? Because does opponent know about the interaction? That's really strange. That's extremely strange. I guess opponent must have played against his deck before and knew that we we were going to be screwed. I know it's left to right, though. Huh. That sucks. Okay. That does suck a little bit. Because for some reason, Unworthy Soul also his landmarks. <laughs> this is just yeah, they just pull... The weakest and then we're dead oh man that's so unfortunate yeah i'm a little bit frustrated at that that sucks man uh yeah did you well i'm pretty sure we wouldn't have gotten the win we had to use the card there and then we would have lost to this anyway ionia man ionia of course we are still friends this fortune aurelia i Hmm, this is pretty good because this is literally our win con, right? Braum also helps to just soak all the damage from the 
blades. Um, yeah, let's keep it like this. Let's keep it like this. He's, this is this is perfect. Look at this hand. Everything wants to take one damage at a time. The only thing we're missing is something like Scar Grounds. Scar Grounds would literally just be GG. Destiny ends bleached white. Sure. Poor girl. But still live. Well. In the next game, maybe. Not here. Here she's dead for good. The elk of bones summons me. In next turn, we play Braum. Everything has zero attack, which is wild. And Show them no weakness. yeah, that's fine. The Brom's gonna do a lot of work. And then once we get the Draconic Bands on Brom, it's gonna be amazing. We get plus one, plus one for every single blade we demolish. That's good. Yeah, if you have something, you can just, you can just go for it. Man. Take one. Just like I did. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fortune favors the bold. Fine. Totally fine. This is a D hand, though. Make no mistake. Love you. Like, this deck is all about finding these three engines, mostly even the Corsair Misfortune, and then just finding ways to blade dance all the time. Okay, don't. I know you're playing Ionia, but please don't recall me. It would make me incredibly sad if we got recalled here. It would hurt my feelings. I'm sensing a recall. I'm sensing a recall here. I can feel it. Why, why else would you pass? It's just so sad. It's just so heartbreaking. That was eight mana. We spent eight mana on that. Keep firing till they're dead on the ground. My kind of plan. Okay. Well, maybe we only have one. Right. Uh, this is, uh, Miss Forge could just level in one go. That would not be difficult for her to do. From death, life. Let's try again, Braum. This time for sure. This time they will not recall you. Wait, what? Oh. Always forward. Yeah, misfortune's level. Stand behind Braum. Love ya. Lame. Yeah, they have to attack, so misfortune goes to four. Time for violence. Or just kills us, I guess. Yeah, misfortune kills us, right? Misfortune kills Braum. Yeah. Well, that's not good. Follow my lead. Oh, that's so powerful. No regrets. No. Mercy. It's just that recall. Like, if we were able to kill the misfortune, I think it was just GG, right? <laughs> Steals, steals three, so we can't kill that. Pain will be shared. I think we're just dead. Oh, we should have probably... Should have blocked this? I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Uh, because of the fury, we can't actually kill Misfortune. Maybe, you know, maybe that's consolation. That's actually a pretty good draw. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. We're we're still in it. And then they play the second misfortune, right? Please don't. Don't do this to me. This is this is great though. This is such a good card. Oh, nice. We kill that. 
<laughs> thanks. Thanks, cat. Oh, that's so good. I love this. Ember Maiden can save us. All right, we end round. We get a we get a blocker from Brom. These two die. It's, it's lovely. It's great. It's also pretty good, actually. We are in it to win it. 100% in it to win it. Okay. So, Aurelia will get four attack after this. So, we will block with Braum and we will block with the 3-2. And then when Aurelia swaps in, we will use Braum's take heart. And this will be our ticket to win the game. It's so good that we actually killed those other two units. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Yeah, whatever. That's something we're not dying to, and we, we just get another Poro anyway. Let's get another blocker. Overwhelm on Braum. <laughs> the Braum got so big from the Fury. Nice. Wait, how big is he actually from that? So it's plus three, plus three from the bands themselves, and then plus three, plus three from Fury, right? Yeah, that would, that would happen. Blade sharpen. Blend that lead foot. Don't worry. I've danced this a hundred times. <laughs> All right. Another Poro. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, uh... <laughs> but that doesn't, that doesn't work, does it? That does nothing. I'm pretty sure that does nothing. Do we want to just block here? So we don't kill ourselves? Or do we do Nah, we can just block with a bro. Let's do it like this. You are safe with that way the Poro probably dies first. And we get a blocker. Instead of sending a Poro to the void. Okay. I can do this all day, buddy. All day. Fight for the first land. Yep. So we'll block like this. Stand behind Brom. <laughs> just, there's just no way. It's checkmate by Brom. Ah, oh, screw you, Aurelia. So happy to see you rotated in a month. <laughs> Thinking outside the box, Zillion Victor, time bomb printer, one two pop, meta shifter, not a quitter, fighting for L.